Hey everybody, Adam Payne here, and I want to make this video because I don't see much about this on YouTube. And that is a feature inside of one of my favorite AI tools that allows you to create a wide variety of images without the need for long, complex prompts. And the great thing is you can even get a free account to try this out. So I'm talking about this tool here. It's called Koala. They've got Koala Writer, which is more for blog posts, and they've got Koala Chat, which functions a little bit like ChatGPT, but they've got a really cool image generation feature that you can use. So let me show you how you can simply create these images. So the first thing you want to do is come to Koala Chat and then add this prompt, which is forward slash dream, which is the prompt for an image. The next thing we need to put is our aspect ratio. I'm going to put two to three. And if you're not sure what aspect ratios to use, I'll leave a link to this document which shows you the different aspect ratios. But one to one obviously is a square image. Um, 16 to 9 is more of a kind of YouTube thumbnail featured image style dimension. And then we've got um, 2 to 3, which is great for Pinterest as well. So we're going to come back and then we're just going to put our prompts. So I'm just going to put Kyoto. You know, I live in Japan. I like Japan. So Kyoto is a famous place in Japan. And that's all we're going to put. We're not going to put some long, complex prompt with a ton of stuff like you may need to do if you've got mid journey. Um, we're going to wait maybe 15, 20 seconds for this to appear. And then I want to show you the different styles of images that Koala can create. And we'll use the same simple one word prompt. Now, of course, we could put, you know, Kyoto, sunset in Kyoto, cherry blossoms in Kyoto, temple in Kyoto. But we just want to keep this nice and simple. And I'm just going to copy this while this is doing its thing. So there we go. We've got this image of Kyoto there that we can potentially use on Pinterest. Now, what can we do? We can just, you know, drag and drop this onto our desktop and then we can manually upload this to Pinterest, share it on Instagram, on Facebook, or we can create a bunch of these and schedule them to go out. Let's put the exact same prompt, but uh, between this, we want to put the style. So let's go with an anime style. So it's forward slash dream, the image prompt, space, anime, which is the style, space, dimensions, and then whatever we want the image to be about. So we're going to keep the exact same word, but this is going to be anime style. And while that's doing its thing, we can also choose a different style. So we've got isometric, which we can do. We've got fantasy, which we can do. So we've got a bunch of these different things. I'm not going to do them all, but we've got a few that we can do. Again, I'll share the links below, which shows you all the different kind of images that you can create. And then we'll just scroll up and we'll see what this has created. So we've got the first image. We've now got our anime style image. Um, we've got a kind of famous temple in Kyoto, King Kakaji, the golden shrine, golden temple, I should say. Then we've got this one here, which is going to come shortly, isometric style. I prefer the anime one myself. And then we've got fantasy. So these are super cool images that we can potentially create. Now, if you've got a blog with a bunch of different articles on there, you can take an article and you can come up with a prompt that talks about that blog topic, that blog post topic, create three to four to five images related to that, share them across a variety of different places. And as you can see, it was super, super easy. So maybe you want something for a YouTube thumbnail. So we'll put instead, we'll come up here and we'll choose this one, 16 to 9. So let's come back. We'll replace 2 with 16. We'll replace that with 9. And let's change Kyoto. Let's put um, Akihabara, which is a busy district in Tokyo, which is famous for all the neon lights and um, you know comic cafes and shops and all of that stuff so we'll wait for this to happen we've not given it any styling prompt so i'm not sure what it's going to choose but this is what we can you know get done and actually what i'll also do is i'll copy that oh there we go look we've got an akihabara one so this is a nice you know dimension that we could use as the base for a youtube thumbnail we could use it for a featured image post could help our blog post pop out we can also come in here and let's put um, photo and we'll hit that and we'll see if we can get a more realistic style image and see what this brings up. Obviously, if you give a real detailed prompt, it may struggle to come up with something. And also, and it's not just Koala, but it's pretty much all AI tools. They do struggle with certain things. They struggle with humans, the human form, specifically hands and feet. You'll often get people with, you know, six fingers. Uh, so we've got this one here. One final cool feature of Koala is 
The main feature, which is Koala Writer, enables you to actually automatically add these images inside of articles. So it will go ahead and it will create an article for you. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, I've got other videos on that. But you can actually have images added and you can choose from all of their styles. So you can see here, I showed you a couple of those styles. We've got all of these different styles that we can potentially use. We've got the image size, so the aspect ratio that you want and how many images you want to be added into your post. So maybe you wanna have a blog post of you know, 2,000 words and you wanna have five images automatically added that are all anime style and they're all you know a certain image size. So it's so cool and it's just really easy and beginner friendly. So again, if you wanna check out Koala, I'll leave a link below. You can go ahead and check it out, get a free account. Other than that, any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers.